G'day scrappers, welcome to part four of the scrap marathon video. And uh, first thing I'm gonna do before I start scrapping anything else is just take this big pile of uh, scrap to the scrapyard and just get rid of it. Empty PC towers, microwaves, some printers that I don't wanna deal with and all that sort of stuff. Even a couple of old TVs that I'll get rid of. Once I load all this up, then over the next um day or so i'll uh, just keep loading the van up with more scrap that i find and uh yeah just to get rid of this big pile before um it starts getting carried away so that's all i'm going to do for now is just start loading the van up slowly i don't mind this job it's just a little bit uh a break from scrapping and yeah I just slowly pack the heaviest stuff towards the front and then the last thing I'll do is when I've got all the scrap steel in I'll um, I'll load up the back of it with uh, cardboard boxes and on the way to the scrapyard I drop off the cardboard boxes which is about halfway up so I get to kill two birds with one stone and yeah, just so I don't uh, overflow with cardboard boxes as well. It's, it's more a visual thing than, um, than anything. Just, uh, I mean, it's only cardboard, but when they're sitting around, they just make everything look, uh, looks like I got more junk around when I got extra cardboard. So yeah, just a cardboard and this polystyrene need to get rid of and that'll sort of motivate me to pull out a, a couple more boxes to get rid of and um, same with the scrap steel when the vans are uh, just about loaded with scrap steel and i've got more room i think oh, okay i'll scrap a couple of more pcs or i'll scrap a couple more of these dvds and uh yeah it just uh gives me extra motivation to uh to do some work that I otherwise wouldn't do. So this will take me a little while and yeah, I'm in no rush, but tomorrow it might start raining. So I thought if I can just get all this into the van, I don't have to uh, handle wet scrap. And um, And then when I'm ready to go, I'll just go straight to the scrapyard and get rid of it. And that'll be a really nice load. And it'll probably be one more large scrap steel run before Christmas. But, you know, just to get rid of these things like these TVs and stuff. It just looks like a whole big mess here. All right. So, hope this video turns out okay. Uh, uh, I'm sure that now being the fourth video, I'll get into this garage a lot more. <laughs> I've done a lot of little bits that uh, are unnoticeable. So it's just going to help me sort of climb in there and start taking out a couple of the big barrels. It should be good. So. Let's get this van loaded and head to the scrapyard. Okay. Just a bit of cardboard first before I get to the scrapyard. Ah, it's good to uh, get a start on clearing out stuff and uh, cardboard boxes build up pretty quickly but it's really handy that I've got a convenient place to get rid of it on the way to the scrapyard it's 
so it doesn't cost me any more time or fuel to, to get rid of it. Get a bit a bit of polystyrene. Only a few little bits. Okay. All right. Yep, and the rest for the scrap metal yard. Let's get out of here. Big job this one. Okay, 
Okay, well, I brought in 800 kilos, so that's about as much as I um, would normally bring in in the van. Usually it's about 700, so 800 is about my tops. Probably because of all the, the printers that I had, they weighed quite a bit. Um, but again, it's dropped another cent since last time I came in, so down to six cents a kilo. So getting very low, six cents a kilo, but still it's mostly my rubbish. So $48, oh well, it's not a lot of money, um, but still a little bit of petrol money for uh, the next couple of weeks. So that's it. So yeah, 800 kilos, quite a lot of scrap steel to uh, take in one go. So, wow. That's a real nice relief. Got rid of cardboard, scrap steel, a uh, whole lot of rubbish in, in amongst it. So, oh well, at least I got something for it. Let's get on with some scrapping now. Okay, well, that's a big improvement. Look how empty that is. It looks um, absolutely amazing. It just, uh, it just makes me happy and inspires me to keep going and uh, scrap more stuff, but yeah, quite amazing that there's almost a ton of scrap metal just lined up against this fence line here. Um, so, wow, a nice relief. Still got a lot more to go though. A lot more uh, scrap to PCs and scrap to scrap out. And uh, But, uh, yeah, I think in this video we're certainly going to uh, get into this garage um, quite well. So uh, I think it's going to be good. I'm going to be able to actually walk in and uh oh, it's awesome looking really good all right well back to the scrap table clean up some uh wires and stuff i've got in packages just to get rid of them and uh i might scrap out a couple of these amps i've got a nice sony and a pioneer amplifier that i picked up in hard rubbish so i uh, might just check them out and uh, get rid of them as well okay let's get into scrapping hey finally after that scrap metal run so i've got a couple of these really nice amps that i picked up off the street the guy gave them to me when he saw me picking through his electronics uh first up is this sony they they don't work and uh so there's no point in fiddling around with it And, you know, usually if these are in reasonable condition and working, obviously I try to sell these old ones because sometimes they can sell well, but I'm not interested in trying to sell a circuit board for parts or anything like that. Just gets too complicated. But it's uh, very heavy. Um, obviously, most of the weight is in the giant transformer that's here. So let's just get on with it and <laughs> scrap her out. Oh, just a mid-grade board. Get a couple of crystals, that's about it. And uh, after I do uh, these few couple of amps and stuff, I'll, uh, I'll wander into the garage and uh, start pulling out a, a, a couple of boxes to uh, process whatever's in the boxes and uh, I think you'll be uh, quite impressed with the uh, progress that I've made all the little things that weren't worth putting on video anyway um, hello. yeah so just a whole lot of junky things and I've just managed to get rid of some stuff uh, as scrappers are coming in to sell me boards and stuff I'm trying to push a, a few things up to them and so I've managed to get rid of some stuff that I, I don't want to scrap uh, it's yeah it's been pretty good and uh, I think you'll find that uh, we're going to actually be able to walk into the garage and start making some real progress here and uh, yeah it looks as though um, my target by Christmas time to have it all 
really nice and uh, clean and clear is uh, is looking good and then we can start getting on to some other things you know So I'm absolutely wrapped <laughs> and you know I'm still uh, being sort of uh, um, kept extra busy by having scrappers bring me boards and stuff I've had two in the last couple of days so at the same time I'm processing the boards and uh, working out what to do with them quite a lot of uh, hard um, motherboards and uh, hard drives this week as well as a bunch of laptops there's a giant transformer that's where all the weight is it's amazing the size of the transformer that they put into these amplifiers you know it's it really must take a lot of power they're really nice yeah it's got some good copper in there but as you can see that that chunk of steel around it it's that's where most of the weight is anyway so i get um about 50 cents or 55 cents a kilo uh so I, i'm just happy to get rid of it as a transformer the only transformers that i, I like to bust open are the microwave ones if there are copper copper It was starting to run out of a lot of them as well. Oh, not me. I've got a, I've got a pretty decent stockpile of copper transformers that I need to process. All right. Well, all that's left is this big giant board, and. Uh, I suppose we can get these boards out they're only going to be uh, low grade got to do this by hand bear with me okay so just got another phone call uh another booking for uh someone to come and sell me boards tomorrow morning <laughs> sounds like uh, quite a decent pile too uh so yeah the board buying is uh side of it is doing pretty good you know um i mean it's not that i make a big markup some things i do okay but it it's mostly because I, I want to be able to pick some of the boards for gold recovery. Um, I don't touch the motherboards or things like that because there's nothing on a motherboard really to take off without uh, downgrading it. So, um, but still, you know, uh, you gotta. I like to turn that sort of stuff over, and uh, yeah. So that's what I was hoping for, that uh, that side of the business was going to take off, you know. Uh, uh, most of the people find me from my YouTube videos. So it's, it's, uh, this is pretty terrible. <laughs> So yeah, those videos when I do the odd one where uh, I, I mentioned that I buy boards and stuff, um, it, it actually works, you know. I, I think because, you know, YouTube videos, they do get um, a good position in uh, Google searches. So I'm just going to get rid of that. And so... Yeah, if someone searches in Google, oh, you know, 
sell motherboards or buy motherboards, that kind of thing, you know, my one of my videos will probably come up, and that's where um, they mostly find me from, because like even this call that I just got, you know, the guy said, oh, yeah, I watch your YouTube videos, and uh, you know, I see you buy boards and that. Um, all right, scrap steel. Well, there we go. Uh, yeah, just a, pretty much just a low-grade circuit board. I'll clean off all the wire. Uh, at least we'll get some value. And I, I will take these little copper coils because they're just sitting there and you just pull them up like that and just cut off uh, some nice little copper. So there's quite a few spools of there. And then we've got this giant... Um, heat sink uh, yeah it's you know probably yeah get okay value then you've got to take off a, a lot of the the screws like undo all these screws um, it's hard to say whether there's going to be much value difference whether they just sell it as a complete low-grade board but we might as well because it is quite big and the good thing is that the only thing we're kind of losing are the screws and these MOSFETs they can stay on the board they're also copper recovery so still good value for the board buyer even though they only pay a very low price for low grade board but still it's better than scrap steel All right, well, that's quite a decent chunk of uh, aluminium. I mean, it's probably about one and a half pounds. Um, and yeah, I'll just clean off all these uh, wires, take off those little copper spools, and, and the rest, all these screws can go to scrap steel. And see, that all the MOSFETs are still on there. They can stay there. I can get this little IC chip here. Uh, it's not going to affect the... The grading because it's only low grade anyway yeah not bad so we got that nice chunk of uh, aluminium um, uh, really nice heavy transformer that's pretty awesome and just some low to mid grade boards just some junk really but uh, yeah not bad that was the main thing we wanted and a good chunk of uh, aluminium all right I'll, I'll do the uh, other one now I think it's a uh, is it? It's a Pioneer. It looks, it's much heavier than the Sony. So, just wondering what's in that. So here's the uh, nice Pioneer. Um, yeah, I reckon this one would have been a good one to sell if it was working. It's a VSX 9700S. Usually, when they get up into the 9000s, they're uh, pretty good. And it's super heavy and quite loaded with uh, nice stuff, actually. Um, wow. Yeah, slightly better boards. It's like, yeah, and just everything is just, in general, a little bit heavier. And we'll get this transformer out and that'll cut out most of the weight. I've undone the transformer from underneath, obviously, so just because around the back to undo all the um, boards and stuff, there's tons of screws. So I just get that done before I put it on video, just so you don't have to sit and watch me just undo screws for an hour. <laughs> all right. Transformer. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's more of a sealed one, so even more impossible to get the copper out. Um, but these uh, pieces of copper around the outside, 
these I don't let go as transformers obviously it doesn't you know reduce the value of the transformer it's still a transformer but at least we've got some decent uh, copper here that we can take Look at that. so it doesn't uh, loosen off anything else even when they're thin I still take them but when they're nice and thick like this you know transformers 55 cents a kilo this copper is about six dollars fifty a kilo so even though you know it's not super heavy but still it it all adds up so i don't want to pass on that never i never pass up on the, uh the fr free copper like this go two nice strips of copper yeah certainly does weigh a bit transformer okay well <laughs> that changes everything all of a sudden it's nice and light Sort of look around for some screws. Just a low grade board i will take off the crystal and take out these little ic chips and then just throw the rest into low grade yeah as well as the boards you know quite a decent amount of wire and usually this wire even though it's quite thin it's quite heavy it's good good grade of uh, copper in there so we'll just get one board out at a time so again we've got these some nice much bigger copper coil here that's just on its own so obviously at least want to cut that out that's some decent copper the only thing here it's got some solder on this side so I just snip off the silvery part and I throw that into brass and now I've got some nice clean pure copper beautiful <coughs> same this board I'll just take out the uh, little IC chip and the rest I won't even bother with this coil here um, just throw it in as low grade so I might just try and undo some of this wire tangle because it's a bit much Sometimes this black wire it's actually quite good grade so I don't throw this into data cable I just throw this straight into insulated you know 
just it gets you know mixed in with it you don't really notice it all right well it's actually uh technically it's probably it's a it's a mid-grade board it's got a whole lot of ic chips all over it and you know all i want to do with this is i want to take off these ic chips because it's a reasonably older board and uh yeah these could be really good for gold recovery so i want to take all these we'll do that a bit later chunky wire that's what we're after when you add it all up you know with the wire and all that stuff you know it's a decent bit of value out of it Still got to clean off this board here, but again, pity these fins are so thin, but still not bad. Just another low grade board with a lot of IC chips that I can take off. Some more copper coils in there and clean off all this nice wire. So not bad value either. And just just one more board at the back here. Again, a lot of ICs. So quite a decent amount of IC chips all up. Okay, can get rid of this. low grade nice aluminium giant transformer low grade and all these really good low grade boards that I can take off these IC chips yeah just tried to zoom in a little bit but uh, yeah no point in leaving these IC chips on there. So, and if they break in half, that's fine. And yeah, I can kind of see a little bit of gold in there. Yep. Yeah, it don't matter if they, they break in half, you just take the other half and throw it all in. It's the same thing. And sometimes they sort of crack open sort of revealing the bonding wire it just sort of speeds up the process later when you go to actually refine the stuff um, yeah. and 
the only other one is the big one right in the middle. And there we have it. Coming off the wire. And there we have it. So I've you know removed I've left a couple of the little ICs, that's fine. But uh, you know, cleaned it up. It's still a low grade board, so even though we've taken off the IC chips, it's still a low grade board. It's still got a couple of little ones, you know. Um, even this one here. First thing, just want to take off the little crystal uh, for my own little thing. And again, if I can. If I can get to the ICs, I'll, I'll go to take them out. See, sometimes if they crush up like this, I don't really see much gold there. I don't worry about it, you know. That'll do. So this one, just a little bit harder to get to. It was a really good one. This is the, the main one. And I've showed guys before, like it's pretty hard to use the to use these to get to pry that off. So I use a bigger screwdriver, and I just uh, pop the legs on one side. Usually they're pretty easy. You just do one or two or three at a time. Sometimes it just depends on the legs. But now we've uh, broke away one side and so now we can get these onto it and uh, without breaking it. And there we go, we've got our IC, nice and easy. I wanna get this uh, medium sized one, it looks quite good. Yep, nice and clean. And the smaller ones. This one broke up a bit. Sort of just to reveal, can't see really any gold. They don't all have gold, but they're still all IC chips, so. Made a mess of that one. Mm. The legs could have a bit of bonding wire, so I'll just put that crumble in. But you get the drift. So there we go. Um, low grade, clean up some wire. Definitely clean up all the wire off here. Again, we've got nice IC chips, nice and easy. There's nothing around them, easy access, can get them off nice and easy. Clean off all this wire, get a bit of copper. Spools all over it. And uh, low grade, done that one low grade, might get one IC off that low grade, and the low grade that we've done, big transformer, aluminium, hey, not bad, for uh, one amp, obviously if the amp was uh, in working order, we'd first try and sell it, but still, I'm trying to uh, get stuff down and uh, this is the best way for me. So let's uh, take a step into the garage and pull out a couple of boxes. Okay, so let's make our way into the garage. I've filled up this, mostly uh, transformers and some bits and pieces that I want to deal with another time. But yeah, a lot of transformers and copper stackers. That's, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> so... Let's get into this garage. Well, I can stand in it and I can uh, kind of make my way through. So a lot of these tubs are half empty, so they're going to be a real quick thing. And then, you know, there's gas bottles that uh, for my melting, my furnace is underneath these boxes here. So, um, yeah, it's going to be pretty quick, I think. It's just a matter of getting rid of a couple of... Uh, things that have been hanging around. I've got a tub here of cables that I need to uh, 
get out of the packets and start processing they've just been sitting there for ages so that's going to reduce a tub another virtually empty tub here yeah and um been slowly clearing off some things off the bench so all these uh, keyboard mylars that are just sitting around there just got to go into the barrel at the back there um just when i can get in so it's starting to look good so i guess this box is the next box i should start doing something with and this is all just uh strips of uh, ic chips um and stuff like that that uh i got from a pickup so all kinds of just ic chips so i think this will be a good one to get rid of and i'll be able to get rid of the whole box and then yeah there's just our uh, gold plugs in all those packets that i'll probably just remove that'll free up that tub and more a bit more floor space and yeah we'll just slowly get through but i think uh we're on the uh final leg of at least getting mostly into the garage and then we can uh, start getting into the shed as well um, it should be good so a lot of this i mean that's just empty i'm just going to have to go through some things so i can't really do much with things like these flat packs i'm sure they're new and i could look them all up but i've tried before in selling ic chips and they're just they're near impossible here these are just uh blank bases for um pins so they're to build up boards there's no gold recovery in them so uh that's just rubbish but yeah just just getting all these little ic chips out and i'll just put them in in with uh ic's for gold recovery uh, a lot of this stuff is old television stuff and it's not going to be any good see like these packets sure it's a nice uh this is a monolithic buffer amp so it's just one tiny little ic chip in there so certainly not worth bothering trying to go for gold recovery um oh, sorry go, uh, trying to sell them i've been there done that uh these look like tiny little ic chips on tape wow and yeah there's stacks of these and some of them are empty so that's all i'm going to do and chickens are all playing around i'll just get myself a little bucket that I can just tip any good ICs in there it's, uh, it's mostly uh, once I get all these IC tubes out it's just a matter of you know then just disposing of all these plastic tubes um, but yeah it's going to take quite a while tiny little ICs uh, these things they're no real good just to get them out of the packet but yeah so they basically get mounted onto a board and uh, and then uh, flat packs go into them but that's just scrap scrap steel for that look at these tiny little ICs <laughs> probably won't even you know won't notice them in the pile but you know we go for gold recovery lovely and like i said i've had uh from a similar place uh, a lot of television stuff and i had hundreds of different ic's and strips of them like in some cases hundreds of each ic chip and i looked them up and sure enough you know they they're they're listed at you know five ten fifteen dollars each and two years i i had them on ebay and i spent so much time listing them and in in two years i didn't even sell one 
Oh, sorry, I did sell one. <laughs> and it was just a, uh, a $5 IC chip. And in two years of trying to sell, and I spent like two months trying to, you know, take pictures of each one and, and listing them. These MOSFETs, I don't even bother. Uh, just throw them in a scrap. So yeah, I've I've got the experience of these IC chips, you know, because I know that you know some people are going to say, oh, you know, you could have tried to sell them. No, I, I've been there and done that, and I wasted a lot of good time. For uh, in the end, all I got out of it was five bucks. So all I did with them was just threw them all into my IC bucket. So that's just a blank board. Yeah, so it's a shame, but these aren't IC chips that people really need. Uh, these flat packs, I'll put them separately. And the chances of finding someone that actually needs an IC chip like this, one in a million. Uh, don't even know what they are, I'm not going to bother with them. So I'm just going to go through this box, get all these ICs, and then, uh, yeah, keep scrapping and get onto uh, something a bit more interesting. This is just, you know, going to be just a check of these. Tiny, one IC in the whole thing. That's it. <laughs> so, but it's going to take me a while. And... These are those little ready get ready to go dip switches and they're kind of sealed on the top so they look like they're preset or something or maybe they just take off the cover and set the switches but I throw these in with ICs as well. Look at these, all these strips and just one IC in, in the whole thing. It's just, uh, but the good thing about it is, when it's done, it might take me a couple of hours to get this out the way. I will get my ICs for goal recovery. And then, it's one, one less box in the garage and just gets me closer to my target. So as you can see, it's not all fun and games it's sometimes it's a bit tedious this one's a tiny little EEPROM how's that nice I put EEPROM separate one no oh, these are strange These are little boxes. Yeah, don't know what to do with them. Whole trays. Be nice if they were gold capped ceramic. Something, you know, something sexy. Nice little flat packs, analog devices, still, gold recovery. Alright guys, well let me get on with all this, get these ICs out and uh, we'll go on to something else. <laughs> I'll see you back in uh, probably two hours. <laughs> nice. Hardest thing, getting these little plastic prongs out. Nice. All right, I'll see you soon. 
Okay, well, I got rid of all that mess. <laughs> uh, there's my IC chips. Uh, about uh, nearly a kilo, I think. And also some flat packs. So nice. And there were two interesting flat packs, or these are um, obviously EPROM kind of things. Uh, quite unusual ones. Uh, more squarer than your regular longer type of EPROMs. Uh, yeah, very nice. Um, as you can see, the ceramic underneath and the really nice gold legs all around it. Uh, quite pretty. So I might just uh, keep these in uh, my CPU collection and uh, look them up another day. So, but the main thing is, got rid of the ICs and all that packaging so that that's awesome so i guess now we go back into the garage and uh as you can see i can actually walk in clearly now and um yeah I, in between doing uh those ic chips i've also been doing again little bits because uh, I keep getting delayed because I, I get guys bringing me in boards. So I've got to process them. Um, what I did is I've just come back recently from two drop-offs to my board buyer. Brought in motherboards again, low-grade boards, hard drives. And uh, I got rid of the server boards. So i um, uh, got some empty tubs again. All right, now... Um, this is the tub that I, I, I want to do, it's, uh, it's just full of cables that, uh, through pickups and stuff, uh, I've just thrown them in there and emptied boxes, there's also some plugs I noticed that I need to still clean up the brass prongs, it's just a, a mixy, mix and match. little tub here but uh, it'll be good to get rid of it and yeah as you can see just you know a cable in big plastic and a lot of junk I just got to spend uh, there's a, a nice little blue kind of like a strobe light uh, so things like this I like to keep just you know in case I want to play around with things like that later on in life so I'll do that uh, it's pretty boring, so no point in doing it on camera. Uh, now, now I'm getting closer to the silver mylar tub, so I'll be able to get rid of uh, all these mylars and start clearing off this bench. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. I, I, I'm almost here where I can at least almost start working on uh, things on the bench again. Just got things lying around. Look, there's a tub of gold fingers just sitting here. Um, Alright, well, so keyboards in here. I'm not sure what to do. They're the nice old, you know, vintage style. Well, well they're not vintage PS2 type ones, but uh, I'll, I'll bring in a couple of them into my storage inside and uh, get rid of the rest. Just, you know, boxes of of things. Still got these TV antenna boosters. I couldn't really get rid of them. Um, I'm just going to have to scrap them out and do that. So I'm not sure how much more there is to actually scrap. There's a, a giant projector that it's really heavy. And I've got that vintage projector that's really cool. So... I don't want two massive heavy projectors. There's just no point. I can't do anything with it. So I'm going to have to scrap that big one out down there. It's under the blue barrel there. Uh, so that might be the next thing I scrap out. It's super heavy. Don't know how I'm going to get it onto the table. But yeah, I think that'll be the next thing I scrap out once I finish off this tub. Okay. So, just got to get rid of these IC chips. Here's my current IC chip bin. So, 
some of these ICs were super tiny, but they're still ICs. Uh, there we go. Really, really heavy. This this tub, I tell you, there's no moving this. <laughs> Once it gets filled, I'll just uh, seal it off and uh, take it to my off-site storage and uh, start on another one, I suppose. And the flat packs, I think I can just leave them there for now. This is what we want. All right, leave it with me and uh, we'll get onto that projector when I get to it. Okay, so as you can see, the prongs that shouldn't even be there should have been processed ages ago. It just looks like things that need to be done, just uh, modems again, even a little DVD. Yeah, just lots of old modems, four way speaker switch box. Gosh. And it looks like just a lot of plugs. So not as bad as I thought. It's just these package. Yeah, all right. Okay, well, this is the uh, giant projector that I would like to keep, but I just don't have room for it. And so I've got to get rid of it. It's uh, an old Panasonic. Now I do have that real vintage projector that I will keep, so I can only have one projector, it's just too much and sure this would be a good one, um, but hey, you know I've just got to uh, bite the bullet here and uh, scrap it out because yeah, I tried to uh, look it up, I tried to um, pass it on, I couldn't, so I've done everything I could to uh, try and preserve it, but um, yeah, because I'm, uh, I'm trying to make room, I can't afford to keep this big bugger. But that's all right. I've never scrapped one out. <laughs> so here we go. Just try and work out how to do it. It's going to be a bit awkward. I, I don't expect there to be a great deal, but already I can see an interesting kind of module. Let's have a look under the cover. Wow. So I've got a giant piece of plastic I've got to kind of put it back together um, see if I can get rid of it as scrap metal those big projector lenses at the back here are, are, are pretty awesome but yeah I mean if you compare it to the vintage one the vintage one is like it was over two hundred thousand dollars back in the time and there was only like three in in Australia uh, it's it's a kind of a special uh, thing, so that's the only one I, I'm going to keep. So some people might be cringing, saying, "Oh, you shouldn't have scrapped that." There's no, you know, because I'll probably not get much value out of this scrap-wise. But hey, I picked it up for free, so. And uh, I've had it for about eight months, maybe maybe over a year. I'm not sure now. And I gave it a chance to uh, try and do something good with it. But I couldn't. And as you can see, it's so big. And it's just so heavy to carry around, move around the garage. And I just don't have room for it. And uh, as soon as I took it out, it, it's freed up a nice big space. And so I'm already kind of happy 
that I've just made a decision to uh, scrap it. So I'll just clear off all these plugs. Yeah, like I said, I dare say there's probably not going to be a great deal to it. So far, a couple of power boards, a mid-grade board, really, you know, nothing gold recovery-wise anyway. But, more for the interest to see what's in this old bugger. And it is a good model. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were, you know, pretty popular, um, like in Europe and stuff. And there might be people still interested in it in some other country. But, not here. Okay, so get these boards out and I just had another scrapper come in, drop, drop off a bin full of power supplies, so they're all got cables on them, I've got to process them as well. Been really busy with the board buying side of things. This is good. More power boards. Yeah, nothing there that I really want to take off either. Okay, so we these projector lenses. It's just going to be the little. They got a um, like a CRT tube on each one, so the little copper yoke and stuff. Uh, Okay, if I can get to them easy enough, I'll, I'll take them. They don't, they're only small yokes, so I'm not going to lose much if I don't get them. So we'll just get that board off and a couple of these nice aluminium heat sinks. Yeah. All right. Well, it looks like it's there as expected. Very little in scrap value. But still interesting. Okay, well, we've got a couple of uh, slot cards here. Pity they don't have a great deal of uh, fingers. But, uh, Yeah, it's not bad for a slot card. The fingers are pretty good actually. I might just uh, knock them off and then send this as a mid-grade board instead. Oh, oh it's one of those brittle ones. It's all right. Just snap off as much as I can. There we go, just turned it into a mid-grade. Got my gold fingers, that's what we want.
That'll do. Another mid grade. Take off these crystals. All right. Ah, yeah. So the board down here is not a great deal. It's just like a little back plane board. Uh, might try and get it out. No, still we can get away from mid grade there. Yeah, there's a flyback transformer here. Uh, no, that's part of it. That's the main flyback transformer. There's no real copper in there or anything, so not even worth taking that out. Mostly. It's this big wad of wire. Hmm, and unless I'm going to cut the whole, like take the whole thing out, I'm not sure it's going to be worthwhile scrapping it any further. So I have been on a bit of a, a go slow as well, leading up to uh, Christmas and stuff. I'm kind of due for a holiday, but I'm not going anywhere, so I'm just uh, yeah trying to wind down a little bit. And But at the same time, I'm still managing to get through all the stuff in the garage. So when I feel ready to get back into it really hard, I'm going to have a nice empty garage to uh, work out of. And uh, things should be a little bit different for me, at least. <laughs> I'll be able to... Uh, focus more on making better videos as well um, and that's pretty decent chunk of wire so I think next year's street scrapping and stuff you know it should Hopefully it's, it's good. Um, I think I'll have a lot more variety in videos anyway. Uh, as well as street scrapping, processing what I get, and uh, yeah, more into the copper melts and fiddling around. So what I'm really doing here is just cutting out wires. Nothing spectacular. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to try and get this off the base. back um, ok 
Okay. Hmm. I think it's going to get quite complicated from here. base of the yolk it's the braided copper wire not bad um, might get the yolks out at least get the copper out of them There we go. Little copper yolks. Nice. Yeah, there's some copper underneath the ferrite as well. So standard four pieces. There we go. That's all right. And three. Hey, nice. Okay. Well, that's got us further in. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the flyback transformer because there's no copper there. Now, is it going to be worth removing this from the whole base to get out a couple of boards? I'm not sure. It's low grade. Yeah. Well, they're almost kind of out anyway, so... <clears throat> and this is a nice piece of aluminium as well. Piece of extruded aluminium. Okay. 
and there's even a nice aluminium housing around this thing but I'm certainly not going to open up this there's probably a liquid inside as well and I don't want to spill that everywhere Hmm. just not sure um, you know what I think I'll just uh, call this done because it's probably just going to make too much of a mess and it'll be a lot easier to uh, get rid of it just as it is right now sometimes you know when you're scrapping stuff out sometimes it's just not worth going too far and creating a a whole bit of a mess it's I mean this is almost out I just can't work out how to get it out because I'd like to yeah I think I'm just gonna leave it um, there's really nothing there there's a couple of power boards underneath them but I think I'm better off just putting the cover back on and just getting rid of it because it's still heavy it's got a lot of weight so <clears throat> I got a little bit out of it uh, at least I had a look and seen what's actually inside the thing interesting really not worth much scrap value but like I said I tried for a long time to pass it on with no luck so because I don't want it and if no one else wants it well What do you do? <laughs> All right, I'll fix the rest up. Uh, well, there you go. The main objective though was to get rid of it out of the garage. And yeah, I got some few circuit boards, three little copper yokes, a whole bunch of wire, and that'll do. I'm happy with that. Let's get on to something else. Okay, so this is uh, one of those Samsung uh, home cin cinemas systems um just been lying around good thing to scrap out i don't know why this was sitting sitting in the garage just taking up more space <laughs> so i suppose i left it to uh just to have a little look to see what's um, inside these things thought there was one missing there we go. okay well piece of plastic all right okay looks like it's got a couple of decent sized boards in there don't even know when they were using these um, probably one of those things that sort of came and went before it really even got very popular I don't really keep up to date with uh, household electronics until I get them to scrap Do what I 
see. All right. Bit of steel. Wow. They certainly uh, packed quite a lot into it, didn't they? Jeez. Quite a decent sized board. Even a decent power board there. It's got quite a bit of copper on it. Little drive. Yeah. Just a nothing low grade board. Those ones. Some people try and pass them off to me as mid grade, but they're they're not mid grade boards. They're just low grade. Wanted to come out, so does have quite a decent amount of plastic to get rid of, but hey, so so there's a lot of things, I suppose. Okay, yeah well, you know, it's good mid-grade board for the weight of it because of all this junk on this side. Um, we get pretty good value, just an average mid-grade board, but still better than a regular DVD or something like that and quite a large power supply board here. So not bad for a home cinema system, eh? Let's try and expose some of the board. It's only a mid-grade, but from there we can just uh, leave it at that. Leave this, the rest of the metal on it. At least we've got the covers off. Now passes as a low-grade, sorry, not mid-grade. Yeah, not bad. Get this bit of brass off. And uh, these two nice copper coils. Most of the time I prefer not to leave the copper coils on the low grade board because I mostly want the copper. I haven't really weighed up whether it's um, you get more value in that. Uh, get more value like leaving it on the board or taking up but I reckon you would for sure simply because low grade boards are just are so low in price um, now that's a bit better now that can go as a low grade board still got chunky transformers on there some aluminium I'll still get that bit of brass all that's up yeah, not bad. And yeah, definitely uh, go for the copper in these. I always trim off the this shiny part where the solder is, just so it doesn't contaminate my copper. I put that into brass. I mean, but if you're just selling it as copper and not melting copper, then you might as well just leave it on and get my nice Here we go. 
Look at that. Hey. Okay. Good one. Clumsy today. Sometimes get a bit of a nice. Can't complain with that. Better than leaving it on the low grade board and you know, getting 25 cents a kilo or whatever. There is one more board under here. Actually. Yeah, just a mid-grade board, got three ICs on it. It's got all these tiny little um, LEDs kind of on them. Overall, it'd probably be a good board for gold recovery for the bigger refiners. I couldn't get that. A bit of steel. So yeah, not bad. A couple of uh, low grade boards, three of them. Mid grade and a nice big mid grade. Helped off with uh, all this rubbish on the other side. So um, not bad value. Bit of scrap steel. Um, yeah. Not bad. So that was the Samsung uh, Freestyle Home Similar System HTX 250. There you go. Well, I'll keep picking them up if I find them, even though there is a bit of plastic left over. Still, uh, wasn't bad, as well as the bit, bit of copper that we got. Can't complain. All right. I've uh, got something else that was sitting in, in the garage that I'll probably scrap out. It's uh, the multi-image controller. Uh, so I don't expect much to be there, but we'll have a look what's inside anyway. Okay, let's have a look what's inside this Electrosonic multi-image controller. At least the surrounding is uh, aluminium, so get some value in that. Nice. Former. quite cute quite insane actually wow didn't expect um, so much on this board uh, cut out this old there you go old toroidal Yeah, so I like these unexpected uh, things that I scrap out, you know, think, oh yeah, what's that? I don't pay much attention to it when I bring it in, but then turns out um, quite insane, actually. All these little cap things, you know, they got, uh, and it's copper inside, thought it might have been gold plating, could be. But all these removable IC chips, really awesome. And uh, there's an EEPROM here. Oh, that's a nice one too. It's, uh, you 
you see the gold in that these are the ones that yeah you really want to look out for the ones that you can a prominent gold in there then we know for sure we're starting off with gold and obviously silver and that nice ceramic you know so eprom's good value and yeah so the rest of the board it's well we're going to turn it into a, a mid-grade board um even if we take off these ic's chips it's not really going to devaluate it because it's only a, a mid-grade board if we left it on and cleaned off a few things could almost get a bit higher with all these ic's but one day these will all be gold recovered look at that what a nice batch of uh, ICs Philippines beautiful mm. so, and if you can see what I mean like there is still IC chips mounted on the board quite a few actually and so it's still a, a, a good uh, mid-grade board uh, yeah pretty awesome nothing for us on the other side and yeah I'll leave this part on it um, because it's still pretty good board with uh, quite a lot of what 2, 5, 10, 12, 13, 14, 20, 22, 26 IC chips still on it so it's still a, a good board for a mid-grade board so I can leave a little bit of junk on it awesome that's a really good really good scrap the electrosonic <laughs> yeah some aluminium for us is a multi image controller ES 4003 who knows it's probably probably worth half a fortune <laughs> but a fun scrap that was a good one even pieces of aluminium like this nice clean strip you know sometimes I keep pieces like this and sometimes you need to repair something and you need a strip of aluminium like that instead of going to buy a whole sheet and cutting up it's ready cut and you know might be a wrap or something like that all right well that was fun now might have uh, I've stripped some copper um, I've got a lot of PCs in the corner there. Uh, what's left? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven left. I did one uh, yesterday. Uh, they're only the real small form factors. They're they're a bit of a pain. They're a bit different to scrap the normal PCs. So I'll probably get rid of them, and then we'll uh, have a a bit of a squeeze inside the garage. It's it's uh well from this side it doesn't look really much different but from the other side it's pretty amazing so i can actually walk into this just about the middle so really awesome i've been spending a lot of time um just doing really really small things that you know it, it wasn't worth putting on video and just i'd walk out into the garage grab one little bit bring it back process it just really small things um so and just taking out some rubbish too that was just lying around so we're getting there all right yeah i think i'll um i might do all 11 of these pcs that are left out they're just in the doorway here but it'd be lovely to get rid of them uh just like it was getting rid of that projector <laughs> all right i'll get onto it okay i just put uh 10 on the table here just so uh, it motivates me to finish them all off otherwise I'll end up doing two or three and I'll go on to something else <laughs> uh, so here's the first one anyway so yeah 
it's just going to be 11 of these straight just so I can be done with them and it's not really going to make much difference from in the garage but it still will they're already gone out of there now and so uh, yeah I just normally I, I like to take these fingers off just throw this into low grade um, could put it in as as a slot card probably get better money but uh, I do like my gold recovery stuff so these are uh, the ultra slim uh, HP's compacts yeah I'm pretty sure they call them ultra slim there's a couple of different models so the one that I did yesterday was a little bit different a little bit more complicated these ones are, are, are pretty pretty easy and I've got mostly these ones so um, that's good A little tactile oh no it's yes yeah, just a little port switch that's just low grade so again people try and throw these into mid-grade boards they're not mid-grade there's no chips there's nothing on them it's just ports so low grade base metal recovery sometimes you know if there's one or two I, I let them get away with it but uh, when there's too many of them I, I've got to take them out because it's just not fair on uh, my buyer and me um, fair's fair you know sometimes I, I let people get away with uh, mid-grade boards that technically should be low grade with these they, there is a little bit of gold pins in there and in these but I, I don't do anything with these this gold ribbon is just copper it's just yellow ribbon um, so I just put these in low grade okay now I just gotta try and remember how to get the power supply out so we're, we're starting to get a bit better weather we've had some hot days then back to cold so now it's sort of like just nice spring days which is uh, really good cut out these wires and these side cutters are getting pretty old there we go power supply for scrap And the good thing about these torque screws is they've got little slots for flat screwdrivers as well so if you don't have torque screws or you can't get into it with a small torque screw just use a flat little flathead I always have this tiny little flathead screwdriver <coughs> take out some RAM oh well it's good we've got a couple of RAMs they should only be well yeah one gigabyte sticks so they're no good to sell anymore in their scrap RAM yeah, these ones are really easy. I'm glad I've got most of these ones, so I should be able to uh, get through this batch pretty quickly. Standard CPU, just scrap. So, it should be good. I'll whip through all 10 of these and uh, go on to uh, have a, a 
better look at inside the garage. Um, yeah, I'm starting to get excited. So, all right. So yeah, there's the motherboard there. You know, a couple of RAM sticks. So good scrap value. We've got a uh, either a slot card. It's only a backplane uh, board or a riser card if you like. Uh, but I'll probably take the fingers off and throw this in low grade. A power supply unit. And got some wire. Obviously CPU. And uh, just an aluminium heatsink. It's got some copper tubing in there. But I don't put it in as a copper radiator unless it's copper there. And uh, no, they're just the aluminium ones. So I just put these in extruded. Clean them up obviously, take the fans off and all that. So yeah, really easy and uh, when I'm off camera I can do it in a better angle rather than underneath the camera and uh, it's a bit awkward. So I'll be able to whip through the last 10 pretty quickly. Well I won't rush, might have a bit of lunch in between. But yeah, it's just a matter of probably the longest thing is just cleaning up all the bits. All right, well, got the main bits, so happy with that. Ten to go. Leave it with me. <laughs> okay, look at this. Hey. <laughs> We can actually walk through clearly. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, whilst it hasn't been on camera, I have done a hell of a lot of work just picking up so many bits and pieces off the ground. Um, little things that have just fallen down and uh, accumulated. It certainly needs a good sweep out. Because I've got the park over the road, a lot of the dust blows in when it's uh, when it gets windy. So it's uh, yes, a, still a lot of work. But hey, look at this. This is sort of where I wanted to get to, so I can at least um, you know think and and make proper decisions on what to do with the rest of the stuff. Um, you know, I'll be able to get into these filing cabinets and maybe stash a few things more in there just got to work out what i've got in there you know like game pads and all oddball things even xboxes and stuff like that so um gosh oh, i could have sold that ipad the other day <laughs> well and uh, yeah, finally got to my furnace. So really looking forward to uh, having a uh, go with that again. It's got a bit of surface rust on the outside. I don't know if I should spray it with WD-40 or whether it will catch on fire next time I turn it on. But uh, okay. So we're looking good. I've... Uh, at least got rid of the keyboard mylars off this bench and I think this is going to be the next thing that I'm going to do now is uh, now that I've got it down where I can see things I think I'm going to clear off this whole bench sweep it down and um, then probably get to this bench uh, and just get rid of things that are just hanging around, clean things up. And uh, yeah. And uh, one thing I've noticed is I've got a lot of these power plugs for gold recovery. They're everywhere. Bucket fulls and box fulls. And so I might have to do a, a big gold pin sort day. Because uh, up here is where uh, I've got tubs, but these tubs are, are going to fill up pretty quickly. And I'd love to have time one day to start processing 
gold pins out of there and from the plugs and all kinds of things but um yeah oh well uh, i'm a bit exhausted now i've just finished off picking up a whole lot of things off the ground here and uh, removing some of the barrels that were lying around. This barrel here has uh, got all kinds of things in there, even got a lot of brass things, and um, so I'm just going to have to process that on its own. I can get to these filing cabinets, which I've got uh, IC chips and gold recovery stuff, so um, yeah. There's uh, only a couple of little bits left to uh, sort of scrap out that might be a little bit interesting. But uh, apart from that, I think I'm just about uh, um, completed this mission for the video anyway. And all I'm going to do over the next couple of weeks is, yeah, just uh, clean it right down. So right after Christmas, I'm going to start melting some copper and and yeah stuff like that so oh well <sighs> yeah it's just been overwhelming uh when i get back to this bench i'll be able to get down a lot of other things through through next year um and i'm never going to let this go like this ever again because next year when i'm going street scrapping i want to be able to bring a lot of the things that I pick up, and I'll be able to pick up more things than I normally do, uh, because I've really got to start focusing on trying to uh, make a bit more money from street scrapping by selling stuff. And so um, I'm trying to going to try and make the most of street scrapping next year, and bring stuff in where I can uh, at least list it, give it a chance, like two or three weeks. To see if I can sell stuff and just start making a little bit extra money than just scrap. And yeah, so uh, it's it should be really good next year. I, I, I think I'm going to have a, a, a much better time street scrapping and uh, and just processing scrapping stuff in general when I've, I've got this workbench back and all kinds of uh, space. Uh, sorry if I'm going on, but uh, I'm, I'm a bit excited from to uh, where I'm at. <sighs> and uh, yeah, so I'll probably just do a little update um, after this video. And what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'll probably just do a shed clear out video day where I'm just going to clear out this shed and check out what's in there and... Uh, um, uh, yeah, but I'll just see how that turns out. If it turns out okay, I'll put the video up. But for now, I'm just going to uh, continue on here and try and get into my gold recovery stuff. Here's a box of uh, oddball tools that I couldn't uh, find, didn't have access to. This is a hole, you know, not a hole, but... It's a barrel of uh, CPUs. The only worrying thing is when I fill this barrel up with these CPUs, it's just the uh, the pinless type. Um, this is mostly for copper recovery. It's just something that I'll do later on uh, when I stop scrapping. But once this barrel is full, I probably won't be able to move it. <laughs> so, you know, and uh, here we've got all flat packs just got stuff coming from everywhere and oh gosh and I try to keep some of these old radios I've got enough of them there's another PlayStation 3 oh there's a little one oh, I, I thought I didn't have one of the smaller ones but there's another smaller one I can scrap that out it's I think I kept it because it was brand new but and I like these kind of little uh, solid state radios the old uh the old jobs even if they were cheap brands like this one was a kmart brand you know but still brand new in box and uh i i love these vintage kind of radios so i tend to keep a lot of them can't even open the next one uh yeah just got to yeah work out what's all what is all this stuff and 
and sort of uh, yeah uh, I'm I'm lost <laughs> what do we got here yeah, it's just empty oh gosh another Xbox they're everywhere no, there's a whole bunch of crumbles for gold recovery in there that got to be sorted out. More gaming stuff. I think I'm going to have to uh, get a couple more boxes and start loading up the gaming stuff. I've already uh, filled up two boxes of gaming stuff in the last few weeks. It's just... Uh, uh, well, there's a PlayStation 2. No, it's still got the memory card in there. And that was just sitting around so we've got to get some of these things yeah because like that playstation 2 i just put it there like temporarily but after my whole garage got chock-a-block you know forgot all about them they've been just sitting out in the dust um there's my uh original electric furnace they keep blowing the fuse you know because uh to melt copper they're no good i'll probably try and get it repaired if uh, I ever melt gold and silver, but to get copper melted, it just takes it to the absolute max and they keep blowing out and uh, it's just too much trouble. I pr much prefer the uh, propane furnace. Okay, well, I'm not sure if uh, this video is gonna continue on or, or it's the end of this scrap marathon video. I might call it, uh, uh, complete right now because as you can see I've uh, accomplished my mission I've gotten in the garage I've got free workspace I've put in uh, at least 200 hours into uh, cleaning out this garage up to this point so and that's no exaggeration easy 200 hours maybe more and it, it was just a lot of processing things like i'd pick up a box and i'd need to spend two or three hours processing all little things that should have been done i've been cutting cords every day for uh, as long as i can remember um hands are done need to rest the hands up i've been stripping wire i've I just noticed uh two spools of uh nice copper wire i think i'm going to keep these until i work out what to um whether i see there's another box there of just all junk and uh power supply units and stuff that just needs to be processed and that and they, they're kind of still still a little bit everywhere another box at the back there um but yeah so anyway guys I hope this uh, scrap series of uh, the marathon was uh, half interesting. Um, it's taken quite a long time to uh, get all the videos out, and but in the end, it's uh, it's been worth it for me because I've got just about got my space back. So. Even uh, things like here, I've taken these out of the garage, like this was loaded with boxes that needed to be processed. So as well as doing the garage, processing that, processing circuit boards, still got PCs coming in, got a process. I filled up the mid-grade boards here, uh, motherboards again, almost full up. Scrapped, uh, scrapped those uh, 11 little PCs. So they're the motherboards from there. And uh, power supplies just came in, a whole bunch from a uh, scrapper. I've got to cut the wires because I sell my power supplies without the uh, um, without the wire. Still got barrels and tubs that need to be processed. Things in here probably that I want. There's modems, a lot of cords. I've got bins full of cords. Uh, a few things, there's the uh, projector that I scrapped out the uh little pcs all scrapped ready for the next run of scrap steel got bins still got to go through here's another bin full of cable and modems and keyboards 
again gosh you know there's uh, probably you know two days work maybe three in each of these that I've got to find time another one here again modems and cables here's a fourth one there's a DVD oh, oh stacks of cables um, I can't do too many cables yet because uh, my barrels are filling up I've got to do a, a scrap run but I don't really like to go just before Christmas because prices tend to go down so this one's just about full mid-grade insulator wire low grade still got a lot to go there that's uh, just uh, aluminium mixture of cast and regular this is uh, extruded getting there so another bin here that needs to be processed uh, a whole lot of uh, more chunkier stuff that uh, needs to be done and yeah some barrels at the back here that need to be done um, all these barrels and bins all need to be processed there chuck a block full full of stuff uh, this one was these IP cameras gosh there's hundreds of them um, uh, you know son said why don't you just throw them into scrap steel and get get them over and done with but uh, they do have good gold recovery bits on the boards even these little gold jacks uh, I like to do them slowly so that's uh, my data cable that's the aluminium do have stuff here a lot of empty barrels from the garage and some stuff that I still need to process but mostly it's uh, uh, empty stuff just had to get them out of the garage you know to uh, to get to other things <laughs> um, yeah all right yeah and I got these boxes I've got a bunch inside as well these are uh, paradox security uh, they're uh, consoles I've just done another box of them uh, a little bit earlier today. That's the remnants of them there. But, uh, I used to sell them, but they don't sell anymore. Um, yeah, still got some stuff. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll probably just scrap that out. All right. Uh, enough of me. <laughs> I'm excited. I just uh, can't believe that I can actually... Uh, it's starting to look like a workshop a little bit. It's still messy, but uh, yeah, it's going to be fun now from this point on to uh, clean it up a little bit better and uh, yeah, and get back to normal scrap videos and uh, stuff like that and see how we go. All right, guys. Well, hope I didn't go on too long. Hope you had a bit of fun watching my video. Uh, look out for the next few videos coming out. Uh, it's going to be a lot of the uh, sorting of the gold pins and all that kind of thing. Um, uh, just talking about gold recovery again, just updating on all that. IC chips, CPUs, all that kind of thing. Uh, doing a bit of a stock take on what I've actually got in storage. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. Hopefully in the next video, you'll see this bench super clean ready to go for uh, some serious scrap work all right guys keep scrapping and i'll catch you next time